Uh, I'm Chris in uh, Special Fleet Tool Repair Department and just want to give you a quick review of some tools we repair and the process that goes into repairing them and you know from the beginning to the end we have uh, hydraulic impacts that we take care of here um, when the tool comes in it's assigned a tag number um, we record the serial number and keep track of that throughout the process that way we ensure that the customer gets the right tool back um, like I said, they're tagged with the customer's name and everything on it. And this is a Fairmont hydraulic impact as it came in. You know, as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. You know, it'll be torn apart and checked and proper repairs made. Uh, and this is one that has been repaired. Uh, you can see the difference once they're, you know, we take and paint them up, clean them up, make them look as new as possible. Um, Try to keep the repairs, we keep spare parts on hand. Sometimes, uh, you know, you get parts put in your tool that there's no charge for, so we try to keep each repair as economical as possible. Um, you know, we're not looking to get as much money out of a repair as we can. We're just trying to do what's best for the customer and get their tool back. Uh, we do, like I said, hydraulic impacts. We got battery, this is a Husky battery operated tool that has hydraulic reservoirs in it. We work on those, we do Greenlee, we do Simray, uh, like I said, Husky, Burndy. Uh, most of um, the tools that we do, we've had people that's been sent off to the factories to be factory trained. Um, so most most of the technicians are factory trained on you know the various tools that we work on. Uh, we also do uh, strap hoist repairs, and we load test those to ensure that they are uh, pulling the proper weight. And usually put a new tag on those. This is one that's not been repaired yet, so we put a new capacity tag on them to let you know that, you know, the strap hoist does fall within the parameters of the usage of it. Um, so we have about uh, five or six people here, I think six, that works in the tool room, and um, like I said, most all of them has been trained in some way to work on each individual tool. Um, try to give estimates on tools that, you know, if it's a, if it's a repair that uh, runs up in a high dollar figure based on the value of the tool we will contact a customer and give an estimate on that so we try to get approval you know before we do the repairs um, I don't know <laughs> you might want to stop it all right so if you do want to send tools in and you have any questions uh, you can either contact us through the phone number listed on the website or you can contact me directly at, uh, through an email address it's Chris at specialfleet.com and you know you can go over the process if you have one tool to send in or multiple tools to send in you know how to get them in to us to where we'll uh, you know get them in and take care of them for you and get your contact information